Okay, I'm going to talk about pre-shot routine today, and uh, you know this isn't going to be you know professional camera work as usual and my uniform of cargo short and t-shirt. So uh, if I move around a little bit, it's just to keep my voice going toward the camera, and I'm going to try to keep myself in the middle as much as possible. And uh, I'm also going to be uh, talking out loud what a normal internal dialogue would be when someone's going through their routine. I went through the circus pre-shot routine for a number of years and it screwed me all up. Too many swing thoughts, grinding too hard on aligning perfectly, all that stuff, standing over the ball going through my checklist, ruined me, okay? Your pre-shot routine should not involve what kind of shot you're going to hit. Picking out your yardage, picking out what kind of shot you're going to hit off the tee, what you have in mind, that should be done while the people in front of you are playing or while the people in your group are hitting before you. Uh, making your plan, what club to hit, all that stuff. Your pre-shot routine should be very simple, very few steps. For me, I like to stand behind the ball for a second or two and visualize my shot walk in a little semicircle into the ball, get set up, get relaxed, have one swing thought like one, two rhythm, and put the ball in the air. Maybe make a practice swing. You know, most of the time I'll use a practice swing, but if, if I'm in a real groove, I won't even do that. So here's about what I would do. Okay, I'd like to hit a nice high draw on this fairway here. So I walk in a little semicircle, get set up, Practice swing. Nice one two rhythm. Ball's gone. Okay? A lot of people like to talk about uh, picking out a spot and aligning to it. That just gets you grinding too hard on one spot in front of you and not into the target. If you aim a few yards off, big deal. If you aim 10 yards too far to the left, well then you'll hit the drive 10 yards left of center. Big deal. If you're having huge alignment problems, that needs to be worked out on the driving range with practice. Now, here is the circus that I see at the driving range every day. 14 swing thoughts, parking over the ball, perfect practice swing, terrible, terrible regular swing. It involves something like this. Okay. Do I want to hit a high draw or a high fade, low fade? No, I think I'll hit a high draw. So now I'm going to stand in front of it like Jack Nicholas and stare down the fairway, park here for like three seconds, do a semicircle walk into the ball, line up to a spot six inches in front of me and an intermediate spot at three feet in front of me. Okay, and I need to go through my swing checklist. Well, I need to get the club on plane. Okay, that's good. Okay, make a full back swing, keep that left elbow straight, get those hips moving, hold that leg, get it going inside out, and then make that perfect scratch PGA Tour finish so I look really pretty for all my friends. Okay, now I'm gonna get into the ball with my perfect posture and go through my checklist again. So I gotta stand back. Line up to there, line up to there, my two spots. Get my perfect left hand grip. Feet 28.37 inches apart. No wait, 28.73 inches apart. Okay, now I get my right hand on the club. Okay, on plane with the hands, on plane. Okay, that's good, right there. Okay, get those wrists set on plane. Get those wrists set on plane. Make a full turn. Keep that left elbow straight. Keep the right knee flexed a little bit. Get those hips restricted. Hold the lag. Get it coming inside out. Clear the hips. And you can see what a circus that is, and you can see how I could get more and more tense. You're just killing yourself when you're doing that. So keep the pre-shot routine simple. Don't grind too hard on your alignment. 
If you need alignment issues, if you have alignment issues, go to the range and practice that. The course is not the place to grind on your alignment, okay? Feel the alignment. Feel it with your feet and your eyes. That's a much better way and you'll be much freer, okay? Be minimal with the swing thoughts. One swing thought. Be very relaxed. Don't stand over the ball for 30 seconds and let your body tense up. Couple of waggles, put the ball in the air. And that's what a good pre-shot routine is. Short, few steps, easy to repeat.